Vertiginous technological advances have rendered collective interconnection, leaving no significant knowledge gaps in cultural differences. However, if we were to combine the widest practice of planet, they would still be far from the belief system found in the Navrita people. It is for this reason that we decide to present this deluded culture as a warning of the extremes human behavior can reach. The distinctive feature of the Navrita culture is the inertia of their superstition fueled social interactions. Alex, the most accessible Aborigine of the ones we've encountered, consented to us invisibly following her on an anniversary, which every Navrita observes in a highly ritualized manner, marking the number of times the person has has experienced Earth's full orbital cycle, so-called day births. Preliminary ritual activity starts in the day birth scene. To the initiated stranger, the practice of collectively venerating this magical potion strikes as utterly nonsensical, as the potion is mind-altering and incredibly harmful. Only when this has been done enough, they are all prepared for the following exalting step. This takes place in one of the most sacred spaces for the Nabrita, where they give out the magical potion in exchange for the tap of a plastic card and a wireless machine. It's here that we see Nabrita's highly coded social interactions fully fledged. As if the sacralization of their potion wasn't enough to prove their masochistic tendencies, in addition most of them are also addicted to chemical-based pakoto, rolled in a sacred paper and only to be consumed in specially designated areas of the ritual building, as Nabritas are fearful of the alleged negative consequences of consuming it outside of those areas. Although this might seem as a simple act of courtesy to the untrained eye, it's in fact the key that unlocks a complicated mating ritual. The secret words I can't disclose, but generate a deep devotion in myself. Alex and the Navita leave the sacred rooms to hypocritically seek a short jumping relief. To create the illusion of freedom, this relief comes in different forms, but equally greasy. One should reach a conclusion that Navita severely lacks survival instinct. This is the height of the ritual bearing their barbaric devolution. The after effects of the ritual reach even a higher degree of harm than the magic potion inflicts. Alex looks at her oomph, without which Nabrita claimed not to be able to live. Threads she interacts with everyone else having developed a sophisticated physical virtual communication system. The number of interactions with what shared to collective platforms steams your social worth. Alex leaves the stranger's home where she's sleeping and jumps on a gigantic wheel tin that transports Nabrita. I later discovered the tin's fed with the product of an ancient mass extinction of species that directly undermines the planet's ecosystems. Once she reaches the local assembly room, she is greeted by her siblings with an attitude that echoes their ape ancestry. The family unites around a table with a flower-based dessert to sing a folk song. Indeed, their primal fire-worshipping attitude is enduring. The food's high sugar content is coupled with the presence of menstruation from Gallus Gallus Domesticus. The dessert is yet by another example to add to the ever-increasing list of the harmful use of non-human species, which has prompted a psychiatrist to diagnose artistic tendencies in the Navita. Will they ever cease to wander us with their pain-loving pathologies?